Okay, this question is on inertial and uh, it will also test you on the ability to read your velocity time graph. So if you have not tried it, I really encourage you to read up on inertial. You open up your textbook, refer to it. You can find the page from the glossary. Glossary is at the back of your, your textbook. Just look for I and then look for inertial. So if you do not know how to spell inertial, okay, please study this. It is in your test. Okay, you'll be tested. Okay. So let's see. You have this velocity time graph of a car. It starts from zero. It will speed up. It is straight line, so constant acceleration. Then after that, it is still speeding up, but it is speeding up with a smaller increment. So you can see here, one increment is this, then the increment becomes smaller. So decreasing acceleration. Then after that, the speed becomes constant. And finally, the speed here slow down to V equals to zero. At this point, it will undergo a U-turn because V is zero means that it is U-turn, right? And, and of course, you can see that because it U-turns, now my velocity takes on the negative sign, so it moves backwards. So the car, basically what happens is that the car will uh, basically speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up to B. Then it will still speed up until it is C, but the speeding up becomes slower and slower. Constant speed at D. At this time, uh, it will then reach E. E is the part, this, this part, uh, D to E, it is slowing down. So this is slowing down. This is D, right? So D to E is slowing down. And then at E, it will U-turn. And then after that, it will come to F. Like that, okay? So let's see what they want. So now they say that uh, this particular car has a weird decorative pendulum bob hanging on it. I have to draw and label the forces acting on the mass. So if it's on earth, then uh, it has mass. So definitely it will have the weight. It is hanging by a string. So the string will provide the tension. Uh, this is bad drawing. So let's do it properly. I would have the weight. So remember to spell out the weight. And then I would have tension. Make sure you draw on the line. It is fine. So that will give you two marks. After that, I have to explain why the string remain vertical uh, using Newton's law, uh, even though the car is moving. So uh, if you look at the complete question, uh, why the car when when the car is moving? So actually, this question refers to the part whereby it is undergoing constant speed. Okay, so this part of the question is referring to from C to D. Okay, if you are stuck because you do not know the condition, now that you know, you can try. Pause the video and you try. Okay, so down here from C to D, I will now uh, share with you my answer. From C to D, you can see that the velocity is constant, right? So from C to D, my V is constant. Sorry, this is not my answer. This is the thought process. So if V is constant, it means that my A will be zero. And then I learned that by F net equals to MA, my F net will be zero. So my F net consists of two force here, right? down here so my f net consists of w minus t so now f net is 0 w minus t is 0 i can say that the t and w are exactly the same so that's it lock. if t and w is the same then obviously the string will be vertical right it won't move left and right because all the forces acting on it are balanced right in order for the, the, the string to swing it has to have a certain horizontal uh, forces, right? But F net is zero. So there cannot be any hori uh, horizontal forces. So it's too much. What do I do? Well, I just need to say from C to D, V is constant. So I show to the examiner that I can read and interpret my VT graph. 
from there I convert V is constant to in terms of acceleration so I say acceleration is zero then after that I tell the examiner that I know my content I know Newton's second law so by F net equals to MA A is zero so my F net must be zero if my F net is zero it means that all my forces acting on the string and uh, acting on the pendulum bob will be balanced so if everything is balanced then definitely the string will be straight will be vertical right so it is very similar to how I handle the case over here yeah the forces acting on it is balanced okay so it will be very similar so just for the sake of completeness I will give you my answer on how I will write so like I said I will first say that uh, from C to D I interpret the graph V is constant then I will say that when V is constant my acceleration is zero okay please spell it out properly and then I will say that I know my laws so I will say by F net equals to MA this means that my F net will be zero so therefore all forces acting on the pendulum bob will be balanced okay so therefore your string has to be straight because now there's no resultant force okay and you will get two marks okay now uh I have to sketch the position when my time is 5 so if you look here uh, when my time is 5 5 is over here you can see that at this point uh, there is acceleration because down here if I want to find the gradient I will see that my gradient will be uh, 5 divided by 10 yeah you don't believe me you can try yeah I, I just do it very very fast but you should try so basically what you can conclude is that a is actually two meter per second square now if you have acceleration so now that at here you know that your a is actually two meter per second square this means that you will have a certain f net correct f net is now more than zero so because of that if your car is accelerating forward and you have a pendulum bob over here that was stationary due to the inertia of the pendulum bob your bob will actually be at the back so if i ask you to recall for example when you're sitting on a bus or sitting in a taxi uh, let's say the bus and the taxi are stationary let's say it is waiting for the light to change so it is stationary when the driver step onto the pedal and on the engine so the car will speed up accelerate forward when you are seated at the at the, at the bus or in the taxi you will feel that you you actually get pushed into the seat you will find that you sink into the seat the reason why is because before when you are waiting for the light to change both the car and you are at rest right and when the driver step on the pedal the bus or the vehicle will accelerate forward first but you was at rest so the inertia on you will be at rest and you'll be reluctant to change right so it is like now I have a bus and uh, you are here both of them are at rest the bus is at rest you are at rest but when the driver step on the pedal the bus will move forward first so your bus will move forward okay and then so you can see here right this is the initial position of the bus so now the bus move forward but you being at rest right so what happened you were here at rest so in the end you will feel that you are being pressed into the seat it's like because you, your bus has moved but you are reluctant to change your state so that's why you sink in so because of that if we look at this uh, this is the original car so when the car accelerate the car will move forward right correct or not so when the whole car move forward what happened to the bulb it will be swing backwards okay so because of that when the car accelerate this thing will swing back and in order to explain using the law of motion using this well the easiest way is to use inertial yeah as the car has accelerated first the bulb is at the state of rest and due to its inertial 
it will remain at rest and so it is being pulled back okay so I think I will stop here uh, I purposely do not write down the answer for you on inertia I want you to read your book okay because I know that if I explain even more you will just be laughing at me and the next time I tell you to read read the book you will think that oh Mr. Choi in the end will teach me no I won't when I say you learn it yourself you learn it yourself okay eventually when you go to poly you go to JC you have to learn how to read so I leave a small part of the chapter for you to read okay yeah so if you want to do well read okay at least start from a young age learn how to learn on your own okay mind blown right okay all the best for your test okay remember do the MCQ in your TYS. I give you the hint already. We can always change an MCQ into a structured question and put it in your test. And we can also use some of these question. These questions. These question. These question. These questions. And put it in the test. Okay? All the best.